Performance Publishing Group, making a difference one story at a time. We'll be shining the light on successful founders, entrepreneurs, business owners, and leaders that are getting results and making a difference. We'll talk about how they built their businesses, are creating movements, and leveraging the power of authority in their own lives. Be sure to stick around to the end of the show and we'll reveal how you can be our next guest. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's Michelle Prince, host of the Power of Authority Spotlight, where we connect with successful founders, entrepreneurs, business owners, and leaders about how they built their businesses, how they're creating movements, and leveraging the power of authority in their own lives. We've had some incredible guests already. We've had folks like Jim Palmer, who is living the dream business, living his dream business and helping others to do the same. Uh, the legendary Tom Ziegler, who is the son of the great Zig Ziegler, and we had some great Great conversations in that show. I and Garlic, who who we both share a passion for story, um, and so many more. And and also uh, Dr. Jeremy Weiss, who's here with me today. He's from with Rise Twenty Five, and he has done literally thousands of interviews with successful entrepreneurs, CEOs. And today's going to be a little bit different, and and a little bit. Uh, a lot of fun, actually, because we're going to be flipping the script a little, and he's going to be interviewing me. Um, but before we do that, I want to just do a brief message from our sponsor. This episode is brought to you by Performance Publishing Group. Performance Publishing Group provides top quality, comprehensive book publishing services for soon-to-be authors. The Performance Publishing team has helped hundreds of people realize their dream of becoming an author. And I, for one, believe that everyone has a story, no matter who you are, what you, who you, where you come from, um, and your story story is powerful. It's actually your business card. So, and, and Jeremy, I know you agree with all this. Uh, it, it is one of the best ways to build your authority. Um, and that's why I love helping people to tell their stories. Uh, but as a partner publisher, Performance Publishing Group can offer you more than just expert guidance. Um, they're going to make sure you get the book of your dreams and reap the rewards. So to learn more, just go to performancepublishinggroup.com. All right, Jeremy, I'm excited about today. You know, Michelle, I'm excited too, because, you know, as you talked about, a book is so much, it's authority, it's marketing, it's content all in one. And so I want to talk about what holds people back from actually doing a book because they know it's going to help them. You know, it's going to help them. What, pe what holds people back and what are the different categories that people, the camps people fall into when they're thinking about doing a book? Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's so many things. So, and there's no right or wrong way to do a book. You get to the same result at the end, but there are some people that just want to do it themselves. You know, they want to learn the whole process. They want to make all the decisions, do all the work. And so they put on their self publishing hat and go down that path. Um, and then there's also, you know, those who just know they want to get a book done, but they want to get it done right. They don't want to necessarily go through that process of learning it. So um, done for you publishing is, is an option. In fact, that's what we do a lot of for people who they know they have a story, they know they want to leverage it, get it out there, uh, but they don't necessarily want to take the time and the effort to learn everything there is to know about publishing. So we do it for them. Yeah. And over time, you want to support the people who also want to do it themselves and you have a book bound workshop. So I do want to talk about what's in there. What will people learn and what are some things people should think about if they're thinking about doing it on their own or even with someone. So talk a little bit about that. What is going on with the, in the, within the book bound workshop? So it's funny, Bookbound started in 2010, not because I had this massive plan to do seminars. It really wasn't something I thought about, but I wrote my book in 2009. And, and that's really what started my speaking career. And as I was out speaking, people would always ask me about my book and they'd ask, how did I do it? How did you publish a book? I want to publish a book. And what started as me just offering advice and getting on phone calls and Zoom calls and telling them what I know turned into doing a seminar called Bookbound four times a year uh, for the first several years. And now we do it twice a year. But it's really geared and designed to teach someone everything they need to know to write a book, publish a book, and market a book because there's a lot of information out there. Um, and so I, I wanted to bring it all in one place. So people kind of like the easy button of book publishing, uh, as you say, with podcasting, but bring it all together. So somebody coming to that event can literally not just figure out how to publish a book, but they're also going to leave there with specific details of what their book is about, 
And in fact, they're actually going to leave with an entire book outline by the end. So I wanted to make this uh, actionable. And I know we can't go over everything because the book bound workshop is a really comprehensive workshop, but I want to go through some of the things that you do share in the workshop and pull out maybe one thing people can think about or do. One of the things you talk about are the top three rules for writing and publishing a book. So maybe just go yeah. over one, one of those rules. Um, sure. That you talk about. Well, so the, the first rule of writing is literally don't write a book just to make money. Um, and it's funny because people come knowing that, and I call, I say it all the time, your book is your business card. It's going to open up opportunities to increase your revenue and all. But, but what I'm saying with that is, is if your only intention is to sell books, as if you're writing a nonfiction book, personal or professional development, that's a really uphill battle. So what I, with that first rule is to think of your book as your business card, to think of it as the door opener that's going to get you more opportunities, uh, more authority, more expert status. And yes, you will sell books and yes, you will make money by selling books, but the true revenue and the true money comes by the opportunities that are attracted to you as a result of being a published author. Yeah. So some people come with the mindset of I'm going to just sell a lot of books and get rich, whereas you're like, this is a tool that you can use to grow your business and that's going to help you generate revenue. Totally. And, you know, one of the first questions I ask if somebody, we get a lot of referral business. So people will, will be, they'll say, I want to write a book. And then I had asked them, well, why, you know, what is it you're really wanting to accomplish with this book? And if they say their goal is to be, you know, to sell a million books on New York times bestseller, that's a very different goal than somebody that wants to use their book to go out and get speaking opportunities or, or consulting or, or, increase the revenue in their current existing business. Uh, they're not exclusive of each other, but it's just a different model. And so all of the authors that we work with, whether we're helping them to self-publish or whether we're going to do it for them, have that same mindset of they know that their, their book, it's their core message, and it's just a tool to, to leverage, to build their authority. Um, and, and so opportunities are attracted to them. And those are the kinds of folks that, that we love to help that there's a bigger purpose behind. It's not just about a book. Yeah. I mean, if you are, you get one consulting gig, one speech that's worth tens of thousands of dollars, how many yeah. books would you have to sell <laughs> getting a $6 fee for every book to really make yeah. that money? It just doesn't make yeah. sense, but it makes perfect sense. Hey, you get a book, you get one consulting gig for $20,000. Mm -hmm. Great done deal more than pays for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the next one I know you talk about in the bookbound workshop is the, the five steps in the writing process. If mm -hmm. you want to just talk about one of those. Yeah. So, well, actually, so in the, I think it was in the publishing process or was it the writing? Cause there's, there's two different steps. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Either okay. one. Okay. So publishing there, there, once you, well, let me back up. First thing we do at Bookbound is helping people to figure out, well, what is their topic? Because you really, you can, you, it makes no sense to even know the steps in the process if you don't know what you're going to be writing about. So that is where we, we begin. And even if people come with no idea of what their book could be about, there's a couple of very specific exercises that we do that really, it pinpoints not just what their book is about, but it pinpoints who they are and what their, their core message is. So that's step one. But then once the book is written and, and there's ways to get that book out of your head onto paper, you can write a book, you can record a book, you can you know have somebody write the book for you. But once it's on paper, that's you know initially when the publishing or the production process starts. Um, and that includes editing. Uh, design, which is cover design, interior design. It includes um, the pre preparing files for prints and, um, and so much more. And so the, there's, and those are all just kind of like check boxes that, you know, it's, it's, it's like a recipe. If you know the recipe and you know the order it goes in, it's not rocket science. Um, but getting to that part sometimes is more difficult. So that's why we focus on the topic and then, okay, how are we going to get it out of our head now? Yeah. Yeah. So I know you talk about the rules for writing, the, the steps in the writing process, you talk about the editing process, how that works. You talk about the basic steps of self-publishing, if someone's going to do it on their own, how to organize the book content, like you said, the chapters. One thing that really piques my interest is you talk about probably over 20 different ways to market and promote yourself as the expert. So maybe talk about one or two of those. Oh yeah. I love this because 
uh, again, we're not, the goal isn't just to sell a book. The goal is to, to build a brand and everyone should have a personal brand. So how do you do that? Well, you, you take that book content. You've worked so hard to write a book. So you take that content and you repurpose, 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 repurpose it into social posts, repurpose it into, um, you know, a blog. If you have a blog, I, and you, you and I share a love for podcasting. And so that's one of the ways to market, not just yourself as an author, but that content, um, speaking, consulting, digital courses, audiobooks, these are all different ways. And, and in fact, they're all different revenue streams too, but it's based on the same content. So you're just repurposing it to get to the widest audience. Because if you think about it, and everyone who's listening right now, I, if I could see you and ask you to raise your hand, if I asked the question, you know, how many of you learn best by reading, you know, raise your hand and some would. Others, how many of you learn best by listening? Maybe listening to a podcast or listening to, you know, a, a, some sort of a course, right? How many of you learn best in a live environment, like a seminar? And then how many of you learn best having a coach or a mentor? And, and, and inevitably, whenever I do the, ask that question, it's, it's amazing how many people were just, we learn so differently that if you only take that great content, the content that you know will make an impact personally or professionally, and you put it in a book, how many people are you missing out on if you don't do it in these other formats too? So that's a big piece of what we do. I do bring in experts, usually some marketing experts. I've brought in publicists. I've brought in people who can you know, really talk about, here's what you do with it, because the, the good and the bad with a book is it will grow and build your authority but nobody's looking for it. So you do have to market it and you have to get the word out. And those are some of the things we cover. I know also in the Bookbound Workshop, you do talk about how to create income from your book before it's even written. And also yeah. how to identify your target market, which you, you talked a little bit before. Another one is how to create multiple revenue streams mm -hmm. with uh, the book content. So mm -hmm. talk a little bit about the multiple revenue streams. So it kind of goes on to what I was talking about with the different types of learning styles, but that just to add to it. So for example, and this, I'll share what I did on my latest book, uh, The Power of Authority. I've written several, but that's my last book. And, and so it is a physical book. It's paperback and hardcover. It is also an ebook uh, on Kindle. So those are three different price points, revenue streams. It's also an audio, audio, uh, audio book on Audible, iTunes, et cetera. So that's a fourth. But then I also took that content and I broke it down. So I, it's like an eight or 10 chapter book. So I took each chapter and brought the core concepts of it and, and, and I did videos. And then I combined all those and then did a digital course. So I have the power of authority digital course, same content, just in a different format. Um, but the price point compared to a $20 book is, you know, a $300 course. Then I also did the same thing with expanded that to the power of authority mastermind and coaching program that I have a year program. And, um, you know, that's a $10,000 program. So it's, it's what it is, is it's just taking it one step further. And then of course, taking that into a live event. Um, I incorporate the power of authority content into bookbound. But that could easily be a standalone event just on those concepts. And they're all revenue streams. Yeah. So you were talking about you could repurpose it for free to get the word mm -hmm. out, but you can also repurpose those exact elements into different revenue streams as well. Yes, for sure. For sure. What do you think, Michelle, you know, what's holding, what holds people back when you're talking to them and they're like, I'm thinking about, you know, doing a book, thinking about going to Bookbound Workshop. What are the things holding them back when you talk to them? One of the biggest things, and, and I can relate to because I was at the same place, is this uh, imposter syndrome of who, who am I to write a book? You know, I'm not at the pinnacle of my career yet, or, you know, I haven't accomplished these huge, great, wonderful things. My life is kind of average. And so they think that they have to be a certain person or at a certain stage in order to be worthy to write a book. But the actual opposite is true. People want to know more about your journey than your destination, right? And so um, while you're going through things, or if you think of life and, and what, what is a book, a book is just an opportunity to help someone else with what, you know, and we do it naturally with friends and, you know, over coffee or dinner, we'll share our knowledge, but in a book, we're, you know, we're just sharing it with people we don't know yet. And so that imposter syndrome, if you, if you turn it around, like, well, do you want to help people? Would you, would you ever not give good advice and information to somebody sitting across the table from you? No. 
So why would you keep it in my, by not put it into a book? So that's really the first one. And I think it's one of the biggest people just think, you know, I'm not good enough or I'm not quite there yet. And, and I know, cause I, I felt the same way <laughs> for a while. Um, so that's one reason. The other reason though, is people think that that is just too hard, you know, that it is this huge mountain to climb and they don't have the time, the skills, the ability and all that. And, and that may be true, but the reality is I said it earlier, it's not rocket science. If, if I can do this, you can do this. Uh, the way you go about doing it is going to be dependent on two things, your time and your, uh, your resources, because the more time you have, the more you should go down the self-publishing path. If you're willing to take on the work, you're willing to learn the process, maybe you don't want to spend as much money to get there, that's a great option. But a lot of people, and especially those that we work with in the, on the publishing side of the business, their time is valuable and they could do it, but they don't necessarily want to. So they outsource that. Um, so th there's ways around some of these negative beliefs that people have about a book, but it's not as hard as you think. Um, anyone could write a book and everyone does have a story. And one last thing I'll say is one thing I, I love about Bookbound is the first day when we do these exercises to help people to, to prove to them that they do have a story and it comes out, knock on wood, in the what, 12, 13 years I've been doing Bookbound, we've yet to have someone map out their story. So your story's in there. We just got to help you pull it out of you and get it onto paper so that you can start leveraging it. It sounds like the biggest objections people have is a mindset thing. It's too yes. hard or who am I to write a book? And mm -hmm. those are the biggest things. Yep. And budget does play a part. Let's be honest. So anything you, you outsource, certainly you're going to pay more money for it because somebody's doing it for you. But that's one of the reasons why we do the bookbound workshop because if you can get to the same result, which is a, a published book that you hold in your hands and that you can benefit from by self-publishing or working with a publisher, then if, if, if your you know, barrier to getting there is, is finances, well, then let me show you how to do it on your own. And yes, maybe a little more work, but it'll save you a lot of money to go that route. Let's talk about the actual journey of someone. There was a doctor who was looking to build their authority. And mm. What happened there? Yeah. So, gosh, I, I I talk about Dr. Jason West. He's I, he's he is such a great story, but he's a, he's a good man, and he's doing so such good things with his books, his content. Um, so, I love sharing his story. He actually came to a bookbound workshop that I did years ago in Captiva Island, Florida. And I remember he got there a little late. He, you know, he's a doctor. So he's very, you know, analytical and very, you know, focused. And, and one of the exercises we were doing was about mindset. And, and I'll be honest with you. I was thinking like, gosh, he might think this is a little too soft. Maybe he was coming thinking it's like, you know, writers just to, to write. And he was really quiet. And then when we did the exercise that, that we do where people figure out what their story is, I'll never forget it. He put down his pen. He got up and he came over to me and gave me a huge hug. And he's like, you just completely, like he had been struggling. Here's somebody who was so smart, incredibly talented doctor. And he couldn't figure out really what his core story was. He knew what he knew as a, as a physician, um, as a medical professional, but he didn't necessarily know the story around it. And so we helped him to do that. So fast forward. He was at Bookbound. He learned everything. He signed up for our, our publishing package and coaching. And, and his, the first book we published for him was called Hidden Secrets to Curing Chronic Disease. And it's on Amazon. It's everywhere. I highly recommend it. But that book was, uh, in his words, he said that that was the best. I'm, I'm not going to get this exact, but he said that that one book brought in more revenue, like six figures re revenue, and the best marketing tactic that he's ever done in his business because it was a true business card and how he used it and it continues to use it. I mean, he's, he's doing great things, written many books now. Um, but how he was doing it initially is when somebody would come into his practice, he was a destination practice where people would come in for holistic treatment and he would, you know, tell them, well, here's how we can help you. Here's the investment, you know, all of the things that he's always done in a, in a you know, those meetings instead of trying to prove like why he's the best, he would just slide that book across the table and he'd say, go to chapter eight. 
read the testimonies of people who had exactly what you have. And this is how we help them. And he said that just, it just, uh, you know, was the best sales, <laughs> so, you know, and it wasn't selling them. He was literally yeah, selling helping. By selling is serving. By delivering value to people. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we're afraid to say sales. Sell, sales is serving. So if you have something, a business, a book or whatever, that's going to help someone else to, to be happier, healthier, more prosperous, have better relationships, you know, it's you're serving them. You're not selling to them. What else, Michelle, do people find most valuable from the Bookbound Workshop? I know, you know, for the doctor, it was figuring out his story in the very beginning. What are some other aspects that people report that is most valuable for them? You know, we get a lot of different testimonials, but it's so awesome to see people, especially ones who have just a guard, you know, they're not, I'm not going to get too personal here. Is that everyone has a story. It doesn't matter where you come from and your story doesn't have to be dramatic or profound, but everyone has something that they are passionate about or a cause that they're passionate about. So to first identify that is the biggest thing, but then to be around other like-minded people, I will say this, we are not a fit for everybody because the people who come to Bookbound, they have a bigger purpose. They have a bigger passion. It's not just to be successful for success sake. They want to make a difference. They want to make an impact. Um, my background being with Zig Ziglar, we attract the same kind of people, the people that have intentions to also make big impacts in people's lives. So it's just such a community. They, they get a community. We, they're, they're alumni after that, so they can come back. And it's more than anything, I, people say to me afterwards, like, wow, this is so much more than just about a book. I'm like, I know. But if I told you what it was before you came, you probably wouldn't have come. So it's it, at the end of the day, I see Bookbound as just the opportunity for somebody to just see who they are, their strengths, their talents, what's already within them. And my job is just to help get that out of them. And I just happen to like getting it out of them through books. So at the end, what is the outcome for them? What are they leaving with? You said they basically have outlined their book mm -hmm. and from a um, kind of a granular perspective, but also from a mindset perspective, what do they end up on the other side after the workshop? The biggest, the biggest takeaway is clarity and clarity on not just who you are and what, what your story is, what your, you know, what you could offer the world, but how to get there and, and a roadmap. Literally, we give them everything they need to know, um, you know, how to get your book on Amazon, how to do an audiobook, how to, you know, all of those things that how to buy an ISBN that people get overwhelmed when they do research online. But then they also get this community and an opportunity if they, if they don't want to do it themselves to work with us, um, to partner publish with them. And so more than anything, I think they leave with confirmation of what they probably already knew of what they had to offer the world. And now it's confirmation and clarity to go out and do it. Where can people learn more and you know, I know you always have a next upcoming event, so they can always check whenever they're listening to this. Where can yes. people check it out? Yes, bookboundworkshop.com, um, bookboundworkshop.com. And I will say we intentionally keep it small. We don't want to have more than 50 people there. And the reason is, is because we, we do so much in engagement and I want to get to know every single person and I want to help them pull their story out. So it's, it's a more intimate workshop and, um, but it's very hands-on and very, um, activity driven, but, but we have a lot of fun too. So I say all that to say, we do usually fill up and sell out pretty quick. Um, so for our next one, you definitely want to grab your seat sooner rather than later. And is it, what's the time frame? Is it a day, two days? It's a two day, two day workshop. And in those two days, literally we will cover, you will walk away, not only just with what your story is, what your book would be about, but you're going to leave with an actual outline for the book, chapter by chapter, sub chapter, stories within the book, everything for you to go then and either write your book, record your book, talk your book and get that book going. All right. Check out bookboundworkshop.com. Any other places we should point people online? Maybe the Performance Publishing Group. Where else should we point people? Yeah, absolutely. Go to performancepublishinggroup.com. There is some good information in there on the process, but also we do free strategy calls. So if you're even considering writing a book or you're not even sure you want to write a book, but you want to get clarity on your story, take advantage of one of those free calls and, and, and hopefully see you at the, the Bookbound Workshop as well. Thanks so much.
much for listening to the Power of Authority Spotlight. If you are a successful founder, entrepreneur, business owner, or leader that's getting results and making a difference, and you'd like to be on this program, please visit performancepublishinggroup.com forward slash podcast to apply. That's performancepublishinggroup.com forward slash podcast. Also, if you got something out of this interview, please share this episode. Just do a quick screenshot with your phone and text it to a friend or post it on the socials. If you know someone that would be a great guest, tag them on social media to let them know about the show and include the hashtag, the power of authority spotlight. I love seeing your posts and guest suggestions. We are regularly putting out new episodes and content, so make sure you don't miss any episodes by subscribing. Your thumbs up, ratings, and reviews go a long way to help promote the show and mean a lot to me and my team. Want to know more? Go to our websites, performancepublishinggroup.com or michelleprince.com. And follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.